But this is the sort of thing that we find when we're out prospecting every day. Well, there's these chunks which were sticking out at the surface and that's how I knew that it was there. So I pulled the chunks away and uh, when I pulled them away I could see this fresh edge so I could see that it was going back into the hill and that made me dig a little bit further down so that I could see how much more was there. And uh, it, it's in pretty good shape but um, there's not much of it here so I don't necessarily know if we're going to collect it. So this is float and it's just chunks of dinosaur that get weathered out of the side of the hill. So we find them down here at the bottom with all this debris that has gotten washed out from further up. So when we find it, we just kind of follow the trail up um, until we find where it's coming out of the wall. It might just be covered by other debris and um, stuff, but that's kind of how we find the dinosaurs by looking for the little chunks that have gotten weathered out. You can look for it in pretty much any of these rocks. This is all Cretaceous. It's all sedimentary rocks, so um, it could be anywhere in the hills here. Um, you kind of walk around the base of the hill, and usually there's some, uh, call it Chunkosaurus, kind of floating down the hill, um, weathering out of the stone. And if you see that, you can follow it up the hill and um, try to find where it's coming out. And um, in this case, I didn't didn't work out. But. So I found some float down on the ground and I kind of followed up some little pieces and I saw this rib sticking out from up here. So we came up and we're trying to clear away some of the rock from around it. And the sandstone is kind of hard and so the bone that's back in there is pretty well preserved right now. So that's, that's always nice because then if there is more in the hill then it's probably in pretty good shape. 